Residents of Florida's Sanibel Island are still assessing damages done to their homes during Hurricane Ian, and the local government there has begun the recovery process. All week long, we've been checking in with vice mayor. So today, we actually want to check in with the mayor herself. This is mayor of Sanibel Island, Holly Smith. Thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for providing really crucial information to people living in the area. Thank you. All right, let's first ask about this bridge, obviously the main thoroughfare in and out by land at least. How is the construction going? Has it started? And when do we expect this to reopen? It has started. Um, I was with the governor on Wednesday and he said, let us know that that bridge, uh, that temporary bridge will be finished in, by the end of this month, October. And if you look at the pictures, you know what a Herculean task that is. They started um, in the middle of the night. They've been running 24 hours, and the progress they have made is incredible. I boated by it today on my way to the island. And there are vehicles going back and forth over the A span, down along the B spoil island to the B span. I was absolutely amazed at the work that's been done in a, in a short 24 hour span. Yeah, Mayor, you said a Herculean effort. When you see some of the, the video from the helicopters, the drone video that we've seen of the causeway, it was actually the man-made structures that held up pretty well, the pylons, those sections, but the sandbar areas of the causeway were completely washed away. So were you surprised that the, the, the forecast to get this bridge back open was that quick, only in a matter of a few weeks? I think they saw the need. Uh, they knew that we were cut off from the world, and then, and we always thought, if the bridge goes, boy, what's what's going to happen with the rest of the island? And the governor came on the island on Wednesday. He assessed. Um, he put it in play. I also was able to go look at another bridge that was done over on Mat Lache to see how it would be done. Um, again, I'm amazed at the work that's being done, and I'm watching it unfold in complete amazement. And I think we're going to get it done on time. He's promised us we would, and we need that transportation link so we can get our vital services, LCEC, you know, all the trucks that need to get over. It's going to be very slow going, but access to that island is going to be about helping save our island much more quickly. Incredible to hear, obviously, so much on the line here as we need to get things into the island. In terms of the school system, how is that going? Uh, is there any plan to reopen, at least in the near future, to get kids back in place? Well, I, I think for the Sanibel School, I did meet with Superintendent Bernier probably day two after the storm. They did a flyover, assess the damage at the school. There's a lot of work to be done there. But their goal is to make sure that school is a K through eight school. Their goal is to make sure wherever the learning takes place, that all of our Sanibel students are learning together. That's vitally important. It's vitally important for our community that we keep those kids together and keep those families together. So so that's in process right now. Several of the schools around Lee County were damaged. So the, the superintendent is assessing that for himself as to where that learning is going to take place. Mayor, you mentioned some of that discussion before the storm. What would happen if the causeway was ever washed out? It's part of life living in Florida along the immediate Gulf Coast. You always wonder about a storm like this. Unfortunately, this happened. So what's it been like talking to your residents. Are you worried about any of the, the mental implications of this storm, what folks down there had to go through, through Hurricane Ian? I absolutely am. Absolutely, without question. Um, we are on day nine. And I say each day very specifically, because each day we are logging a historic day on what our rebuild will be. And only on Wednesday, we allowed the residents to come on. They couldn't get on before, because remember, Remember, we were doing our search and rescue, which was vitally important as priority one. They came on, allowing to come on from 7 in the morning uh, till 7 at night. So this is day two or three. What day is it today? I'm sorry, I'm losing my <laughs> days. Uh, for them to, I guess this is day three, to get on, look and assess and try to mitigate I said to all of them, everyone I've talked to whenever I could, be prepared what you are not prepared for. Because unless you are on the ground, you do not know the massive devastation that's taken place in our island. But I'll tell you what, we are a pretty sturdy bunch. And I know 
know that we're going to rebuild this island and have the opportunity to have the world watch us rebuild this island better than it ever was. So the resolve is there, but I am extremely concerned. Our average age on the island is 68 years old. These aren't the wealthy people that people think when they think about Sanibel Island. That's actually a small fraction. What we are is a community. And I'm extremely concerned when they get back to those homes and they might not have the opportunity to rebuild them. Yeah, They'll be able to rebuild. I guess I should say, say clearly um, that they could be beyond repair in their current state. Let me say it that way. Yeah, it looks like the city of Sanibel reporting 177 homes or structures destroyed with the uh, map that people have access to. A lot of people looking forward to seeing the recovery efforts move forward in the coming days, not only that, months as well as years, and a lot of people eventually looking forward to visiting Sanibel again. Mayor of Sanibel Island, Holly Smith, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I look forward to keeping up with the progress with you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.